Maintenance on a house is inevitable. Look at how dirty these gutters are. I'm not talking about what's inside the gutter, I'm talking about the outside of the gutter. So I'll go through some of the techniques that work and some of the techniques that don't. But in the end, we'll have clean gutters. Quite a transformation. The gutters look new again. Here you can see the gutter and the radon pipe. They are filthy. Even if you take your fingernail, it's on there good. Same with this gutter. It would be real nice if you could take a foam cannon, squirt it down, and that's it. But it's not that easy. Even the power washer won't touch it. You can have all the technology, but good old elbow grease is what works the best. Now you can use the power washer after you're done scrubbing it, but physically working that debris off is a necessity. In some of those really tough spots, I use some kerosene and then good old fashioned elbow grease. Now when I use the power washer, you can see the stuff I didn't scrub up above and the stuff down below cleans up really nice. Without the scrubbing, it doesn't work. Now these gutters don't need any kerosene, but a good stiff brush and some dish soap. Then when you've got everything all loosened up, just take a clean rag and wipe it down. You can see a big difference here. In fact, you don't even realize how dirty it is until it's clean. And once you start this, you have to do the whole house because the clean gutters make the dirty gutters look even more dirty. But there's nothing more satisfying than getting everything all cleaned up. So as far as I'm concerned, there's no magic bullet. No technology is gonna replace good old elbow grease. Now, if somebody out there watching says, oh no, I have a much easier way. Please comment below because I haven't found it yet. I've tried all kinds of things. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.